Hi, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a knuckle duster. This is for educational purposes, or if you want to batter the shit out of someone. First, you want going to want to prep the surface. So, second of all, you're going to want to get your block of steel after prepping. It's very thick. Probably about just under half an inch thick. You're going to want to get a stencil that you made yourself. This is what you do. You print it off the computer. Make sure it's a realistic size so it will fit on your hand. Make sure that this is right first. Once you've got your desired stencil cut it out with a knife very sharp knife so then you create a stencil and then all you have to do make sure it's got a contrasting colour on the back not a dark colour get spray paint but make sure it's close to the line as possible Make sure it's flat, then you're going to want to spray your desired logo on. Now, you're going to want to have one of these tools. Now, this is to drill these four different holes. And if you're not sure on the size, which I'm not, then you're going to have to buy one of these it goes down in sections to the right size that is needed it's off of a small hole once you've done the first hole repeat on the other three if you don't know the exact diameter of the circle that's what you can do to scratch it you get a compass Put a needle on the end instead of the pencil, or oh, this is a professional one, so it will be slightly different to yours at home. So basically, you find the centre by trying to work it out, then you scratch all the way around, and then you'll know you'll mark the whole of it without with being, and you will be exactly precise to lube it up because as you can see it's very hot indeed Then you go again. Now we need to angle grind the basic shape down with, and you have to put the cutting blade on. Just do that now. Make sure you're wearing safety protection for your eyes. start to trim it down so you can get to the actual grinder with the grinding stone disc now you've done the top bit you want two holes there like I said before after you've cut it out you want to prep the surface so it's nice and then afterwards we're going to file all the way around so here's the finished product. But I'm going to probably polish it up to mirror finish and at the back a few imperfections. I think I didn't go with the standard handle. It's too hard with the angle grinder. So this is what I accomplished. <laughs> 